CeraVe or CeraVe or however it's pronounced, what if we revised our sunscreen recipe just a little bit? Just a little bit, maybe. We need to talk about the difference between chemical versus mineral sunscreens because they are very different. First, let's talk about mineral sunscreen. To know what it is, if it's mineral, it's gonna have something like titanium dioxide and like zinc oxide. Mineral sunscreens create a physical barrier to block UV rays. But one of the things that can happen is what's known as white cast. And this commonly happens with mineral sunscreens. So important counseling point when you're using a mineral sunscreen is to apply a little bit at a time and let it blend in because this will help prevent the white cast. As you can see, if you're putting too much on at one time, it can be kind of difficult to prevent that from happening. If you still have that white cast, especially if you have darker skin, then you may want to consider a tinted mineral sunscreen. The reason it's tinted is to help prevent that white cast. And if you're someone who has fair skin like myself, this could actually make you look like you have a little bit of a tan. But if you want to avoid a mineral sunscreen altogether, then you can consider using a chemical sunscreen. Chemical sunscreens work by absorbing UV rays and turning them into heat. Chemical sunscreens are usually really popular with patients because they blend in seamlessly to the skin. When you're shopping for chemical sunscreens, you're going to look for active ingredients like avobenzone, homosylate, octisolate and octocrylene. So for the person at the beginning of the video, they probably would prefer to switch to a CeraVe sunscreen like this, where it blends in a lot more easier than the mineral sunscreen. And with this being a moisturizer as well, this is one less step in your skincare routine. Now what's great about all these sunscreens is that they're all available at your local pharmacy and your pharmacist can point you to the best one for you.